reading the final volume? You looked really focused when you were reading. I can definitely relate. When I got to the end, I was so absorbed that I almost forgot to breathe. What an amazing series! I didn't notice at first, but at some point I could suddenly just make sense of the complex setting. Isn't it weird how that works? really does feel that way, doesn't it? They do say advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Maybe going in with that mindset makes sci-fi a little less intimidating. I wish I could communicate as well as the author does in this book. Remember when I told you how I recommended a book to a classmate, but she turned me down? Knowing what to say is important, but how you say it is difficult too. Before I could tell her how fascinating the story is, I was telling her how many volumes it was and that it's written by a famous author. I don't think that kind of information is going to persuade someone to read. Thanks. Maybe I'll try talking to her again. I think I'll have a lot of good things to say about this book now. It always feels nice when someone shows an interest in something you like. Even just sharing our opinions like this is so refreshing. That's why I really want to work on how I communicate things. Because if I do that, then maybe I'll get more fun moments like this. Look at the time. We should probably call it a night. Um, I have some other books I can recommend, if you'd like. Thank you. I hope you'll like those too. Well then, good night. I kept you waiting. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I guess I need to train more. <sighs> it's going. I'm super thirsty. Oh, that was great. I always say food tastes better with a buddy. I used to come here all the time with my teammates, but... You're the only one who says that anymore. Anyway, they wouldn't come now even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the sport seriously. They even started training at different times. Nothing's organized anymore. I used to love it there, you know. I 
spent all my time on the track, practicing and training. We all loved track and had so much fun together. Then, ah, never mind, it doesn't matter. We're too different, them and me. I'm going to reach heights they never will. Conversation. You keep at it too. No slowing down. Marvel. I'm looking forward. Are you accepting a request? You must know. I feel. By all means. You must. By all means. I will await a report of success. Oh my. Marv. Most excellent. House. <laughs> Most excellent. Now. Very well then. Good day. I shall be waiting then. Very well. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Do you see anything achievable? 
Very well. are my requests. Accepting a re wonderful. Oh my! <laughs> you have my thanks. Very well then. She's, she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down.
It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? Ah, don't pretend it's just us. You don't have to be so modest. You're a samurai. A modern-day samurai. Before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Someday, I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. See you again soon. It's me. Sorry for interrupting, but do you have a moment to talk? Good morning. The chairman is visiting again tonight. When the time comes, let's all meet up in the command room. I'll see you then. but I don't think I can make it today. I just feel bad since I'm the one who wanted to hang out. But actually, my mom fainted. I'm at the hospital right now. They said it's exhaustion. Since she works from morning till night. Damn it! It's all my fault. And my mom, she's trying to leave. She says we can't afford the medical bills. God damn it! Why can't I do anything? I'm useless. I'm just another one of her problems. <sighs> I'm sorry about all that. I... I don't want to be a problem for you, too. But I'm glad you were the one to hear me out. Talking about this kind of helped. Let's talk later. 
later, okay? Good to see everyone's here. All right, come on in. Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting. Amada-kun? No way. Based on our testing results, we've confirmed he has more than enough potential. So, I decided to call this meeting to introduce him to the rest of the squad. Wait, Mr. Chairman, he's only in elementary school. And besides... Besides... what? We've already confirmed he has the potential. With training, he should be a valuable asset to the team. Did he say he was okay with this? Actually, it was my idea to join. I feel like I can help too. And I think I finally understand why I have this power. Hmm? As you can see, it was his own decision. Looking forward to working with you. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. I look forward to working with you as well. Thank you. I'm hoping to learn a lot. Hey, don't worry, kid. We got your back. You might get tough, but you gotta work hard and stick with it. Understood. It's almost the start of the second semester already. And pretty soon, I'm gonna be a third year. Man, time goes by way too fast. Oh, it's her. And she's John again, huh? You again? Oh, well, but uh, actually, I'm surprised you remember me. I could say the same about you. I mean, your outfit is pretty memorable. <sighs> so, uh, what are you working on? A drawing. Why? Uh, no real reason, I guess. I just thought it's 
pretty awesome to have something you're passionate about. It's nothing like that. I'm just drawing because I feel like it. Oh. Huh. Well, I still want to see you when you're done. If you don't mind. been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. That's right. How'd you guess? One of my fans came by. He said he'd bring the rest of the fan club next time. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Actually, it was one of the organizers of a campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right. Let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. That's my boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. Let's race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose, not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. there I thought I'd remind you there's only a week left until the next full moon are you ready there are only a few trials left so make sure to be careful out there I'll see you again sometime
like the others. I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Nobody treats me like a normal person. Not even my friends or family. They all keep their distance and say, Oh, what a poor soul. All they feel is pity and curiosity towards me. Sorry to disappoint them, but I'm not the poor soul they think I am. Dying isn't so bad, is it? What's the point of dragging out your time in this world anyhow? You must have a hopelessness festering within as well, then. I can't remember a time without it. Thank you for coming today. You seem different from the rest. I'm not sure I know how to describe it exactly, but you don't look on me with pity the way everyone else does. Fancy meeting you here, huh? You're the one who keeps coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You from around here? <sighs> oh, not even listening, huh? Here's. <laughs> your own business are you kidding you can't just ignore that nah uh, gotta have something give me your hand i can wrap it up with this handkerchief why are you panicking huh who wouldn't be freaking out right now you gotta get to a doctor uh do you want me to go with you oh, you're a weird one chidori My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? I'm almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then you know where to find me. Okay by himself. 
He can get along fine without me. So, um... Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <sighs> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Rick's doing nothing but reading, so I think it's about time I bought some new ones. Oh, all of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each. That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is this... It is... I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. 
I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. That means 18,000 yen total? Well, what should I do? volumes are great the characters are portrayed so realistically it's like they really exist my monthly allowance is 5,000 yen so it's not enough even if I save my lunch money but I'll get it no matter what I just need to wait until next month or the month after or I'll get them by the time I graduate I, I need to hide this where no one will see it Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you. I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness, or friends, that is, until recently. Oh, don't worry. I was just talking to myself. But I do sort of understand how he feels. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. I can't help but feel like... There are so many things in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. Oh, there he is. That does it for a first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Um, what do you think? This is how I look now. Huh? Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? She said she wanted to go to school with us, so I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed, so now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even... you? The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. Kormaru, 
No, you definitely have to stay here, okay? Comprehend. Yes. Class, we have another new transfer student joining us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis, son? I've never heard a name like that. Maybe she's a foreigner. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid? What? Well, clearly that's a mistake. It just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Let's see, you can sit, um... Are there any open seats? Oh, there's a spot right next to him. Okay, off you go. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, someone already sits there. 
He just stitched today. Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. The spot is perfect. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. I guess... What is it? Uh, Yukari, why'd you stand up? Uh, why? Uh... Good to see everyone's getting along so well. But do me a favor and save the drama for after class. Give me a break. starting to piss me off things have changed sorry but I'm not taking no for an answer this time what this belongs to you <sighs> there's a new threat persona users just like us <sighs> so that's not my problem that's not everything Amada has joined our team. <sighs> what the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki san approved it. He's a Persona user now. I don't believe it. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. Was it his decision to join? Yeah. He came to us. I see. <sighs> Then, I guess I'll stick around. So, you're in charge now, huh? I got a question for you. What are you fighting for? I see. Well, you do you. We gotta work together either way. My old room still empty? Yeah. morning this is elizabeth i am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into tartarus one this time i believe please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue goodbye now hello
breeding. did but when we were at Yakushima I said some stupid things and I just wanted to say I'm sorry it's been on my mind this whole time <sighs> you know I always felt like I wanted to just be normal I wanted to have a family like all the other kids mom and dad to come home to <sighs> why do we have to be different why us? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to lump the two of us together. But I feel like you understand and have been looking out for me. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Is that just wishful thinking? <laughs> that's how I really feel, though. Oh, you're back. 